Yeah, and something that kind of took me by surprise was this was only the second time in LSU baseball history that the Tigers have ever played in a major league ballpark. We spoke to Maneri the other day, and he told me he thinks this is going to be a really good experience to get these guys ready for SEC play next weekend. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park, where LSU leads Nebraska 3-1. to one. Now I'm joined here with Coach Maneri. Now, Coach, we were talking a little bit yesterday. You had a true freshman on the mound. It was the first start away from the box. Now you have another true freshman on the mound. So how are you feeling about his outing so far? I really like the way he's throwing. I think. And Nebraska has kind of been struggling offensively this season, but today they're hitting the ball pretty hard and pretty good. So do you think that gets his pitcher's mind at all? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Nebraska's got a good ball club. Well, good luck the rest of the game. Guys, back up to you. Let's go down to Kelsey Wingard. He is with the all-time single season winning his pitcher in LSU history, a 14-year major leaguer, Paul Bird. Kelsey, it's all yours. Yeah, I'm right here with Paul Bird, just like you said. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier. You played for LSU. You won a college World Series at LSU. Now you get to see your son play for LSU. How is that for you? It's much harder for me. I have crazy parent syndrome. And we were saying upstairs that you have the most wins in a single season with 17. So when you think back on your time at LSU, what do you remember the most? I remember the guys. And we do have a pretty young pitching staff here at LSU. Yeah. So you liking them so far this season? Probably the best I've ever seen that's this young at LSU. And you were telling me earlier you are pretty nervous whenever you heard he was in the starting lineup. So what was going through your mind whenever you saw that? Uh, I wanted him to play good defense, and I wanted him to look like he belonged. And you were telling me that you have a connection with the Nebraska coach. Darren Erstad, one of my favorite players, played together in Anaheim. We're wishing the best of luck to Grayson. Now, Ronnie, he might need some more bananas. I don't know if you have any up there. If you want to bring them down, we're right behind home plate. If, if somebody has bananas, please bring them to the, to the booth. He, if he wants bananas up there. So if we have extra, I'll, I'll run it up to him. Uh, I'll send you some up, Ronnie. I got please, a whole stack down here. Please tell Paul I said hello. Kelsey Winger all weekend has been exploring every nook and cranny of this unique ballpark. Where is she now? Thanks, guys. So I've been making my way around this field. I finally made it up to this train. Now, it may look small from where you are, but it's actually 1.5 times the size of a normal train. Now, you might see this brick building behind me. It is the Union Station. It currently serves as the Astros Executive Office. And now this train runs three times a game. It'll run before the game to wish the Astros good luck for every Astros home run and for every Astros win. There's also normally oranges in the back for Minute Maid Park. They don't have any in there today. But I am wearing my orange shirt, so I can hop in there and pose for an orange for them to help them out. Thanks, Len. Yeah, I'm here with Alex. Now, he had a great weekend. We have a bunch of guys coming in. Almost hit 500 and, like you said, played amazing defense. So how are you feeling after this game? Feeling great. Now, I know you've played all over for Team USA, but how cool is it to be able to come here play in a Major League Park? Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. And next weekend, SEC play begins. How's this team looking? You ready? I think we're ready. Well, you had a great weekend. The team had a great weekend. Good job. Lynn, I'll send it back up to you. Okay, Kelsey, thank you very much. As the Tigers win three times.